One of the questions I get a lot is, how do I write a resume with little or no work experience? So in today's video, you'll learn how to write a resume that properly showcases your skills, your talents, and your abilities, even if you don't have a lot of work experience. And if you stay around until the end, you'll learn where you can find a resume template that you can download today and tailor for the next position that you apply for. If we've never met before, I'm Heather Austin from ProfessorAustin.com and the Career Club on Facebook. And on this channel, I provide simple solutions to help you launch a career you love. So if you're new here, consider subscribing and hitting that bell notification down below so you don't miss a thing. And real quick, comment down below with what your biggest frustration is when it comes to writing a resume. Whether you're entering the workforce for the very first time or you've had a large gap in your work history, coming up with content to put on your resume might feel like you're jumping through hoops. The good news is that you can focus on other sections of your resume to impress an employer and show that you are an ideal candidate for the job. Before we jump into how to do this, remember that creating a resume with little or no work experience will require you to think outside of the box. Because this is not your traditional resume that is heavy with work experience, you'll really need to brainstorm things that you've done in your past or are currently doing that demonstrate your work ethic and commitment. Think of things like babysitting, dog walking, fundraising, or even scouts. Or maybe you've done contract work or freelance work or even volunteer work. Focusing on these other sections on your resume can go a long way. So let's jump into how to add that to your resume. Step number one is to include a summary. A summary is a great place to showcase who you are and what makes you an ideal candidate. It falls right below your name and contact information and is one of the first sections an employer will look when they review your resume. So in a few sentences, explain some of your greatest attributes and accomplishments. You'll also want to mention why you are passionate about the company, the position, or the industry. Tip number two to creating a resume with little or no work experience is to focus on your education and and training. If you're a student or a recent graduate with less than five years of work experience, the education section on your resume is going to be the flagship. You want to make sure you place it right below the summary section. Start by listing the name of the school you attended or are attending, followed by the location. Then list the major or the degree. Now, if your GPA is 3.0 or higher, feel free to list it here as well. Now, to really make an impact with this section, make sure you add academic honors or relevant coursework or even clubs and societies that you participated in. Tip number three is to add a selected achievements section. The selected achievement section will help you expand on your education and your training and almost takes place of the work experience experience section. Think of this as the highlight reel of what you've accomplished so far in life. You'll want to include three to four bullet point items of the achievements that you are most proud of. So maybe you've developed a personal budget where you've been able to save 10% every month for the past year. Or maybe you received the highest level on a test out of a classroom of 50 because of your dedication to learning. Either way, nail down accomplishments that relate to the position that you are applying for and put them in bullet point format in the selected achievements section. Tip number four to writing a resume with little or no work experience is to include a volunteer experience section. Employers absolutely love to see volunteer work on a resume. In fact, it's been reported that 41% of employers value volunteer work as much as they do paid work. This is the place to demonstrate to an employer your willingness to take an initiative and to get things done. Now, if you don't have volunteer experience, go out and get some today. So you'll start by listing the organization or the cause that you volunteered for, 
followed by a short description of the organization and then the time frame that you volunteered. Include a few bullet point items that demonstrate what you accomplished as a volunteer. This leads us to tip number five to write a resume with little or no work experience and that is to add a special skills section. A special skills section is a great way to highlight your strengths as they pertain to the position you are applying for. Use a combination of hard skills and soft skills. Hard skills are things that you've acquired through your education and your experience. This includes skills like computer programming languages, uh, mathematics, even graphic design. Soft skills are things that represent your personality and behavior, such as communication, decision-making, creativity. Tip number six is to include a professional memberships or affiliations section. Listing professional memberships or affiliations on your resume is a great way to show the employer that you want to stay up to date in your industry. It also demonstrates your willingness to connect with other in your same field. And if you're not a member of any professional organizations or affiliations and you don't know which ones to join, do a search on Google for these types of organizations in your industry. You'll find plenty. Tip number seven to write a resume with little or no work experience, and that is to add a language competencies section. If you speak more than one language, make sure you include that on your resume. This is a very impressive skill that most employers will value. Now to clear up any confusion as to your fluency in each language, you can list your experience in speaking, writing, and reading that language. Now to make sure you get it right when it comes to writing a resume with little or no work experience, make sure you download your copy of the six second resume. It's a quick, easy to use resume template that you can use today and tailor to the next position that you apply for. I'll go ahead and link that up below. And if you found this video useful, remember to hit the like button down below and feel free to share this with anyone you know that might benefit. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos just like this and I will see you guys next time.